And so I kind of, like I said, came in with a chip on my shoulder and I wanted to prove people wrong. I came into Metro saying that I'm going to make the most of it and I'm going to do whatever I can to get myself to play professional baseball. To the count, swing and a miss, and two straight innings. He has struck out the side, 11 total Ks, and he's got eight straight strikeouts in a row. What a performance by the sophomore. Sometimes life throws you a curveball, and then sometimes you got to throw the curveball. Julian Garcia used his metaphorical and literal curveball to reach the major leagues. The Fort Collins native always loved baseball, but he never wanted to be Randy Johnson. He wanted to be Ken Griffey Jr. The weird story is it's just like I didn't like the pitching aspect of it because I was always scared of like the, the ball coming back at you. That's when I was younger. And so sure, I got into, got into playing outfield, had some success in travel ball playing outfield. I could always get a read off the bat. My dad played outfield growing up, and when I, I always watched him playing softball and stuff like that, and he would help me out in the outfield. You could hear him whistling, like, shift this way, shift that way. So that, <laughs> that was just what I wanted to do. And like, and like I said, Griffey, yes, watching Griffey play, watching great outfielders play, that was just what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit the ball over the fence, too. I wanted to, I wanted to hit. But as any superhero story may go, they always seem to find their superpower by accident. And for Garcia, it was his curveball. I'd always play catch with my brother, and he would throw me this, or show me this curveball, just mess around in the front yard, you know? And mm -hmm. so I'd mess with that thing and just throw it in bullpens, like when they started letting me pitch. And it had good movement, you know? And so finally got a chance to pitch in summer and open some eyes. And then leading into my senior year, that's when I think I was more of a pitcher than an outfielder then. Garcia saw his high school teammates and competitors get drafted into Major League Baseball and wondered why his name wasn't called. But it was exactly what he needed to push himself even harder in his craft. And so I kind of, like I said, came in with a chip on my shoulder and I wanted to prove people wrong. I came into Metro saying that I'm going to make the most of it and I'm going to do whatever I can to get myself to play professional baseball. And that was the goal from, that's been the goal since I was, I don't know, a second grader. You know, and so I, uh, you know, I just kind of made that a goal for me and just really wanted to prove people wrong. Plenty of colleges wanted Garcia's right arm to pitch for their programs, but the Colorado kid was more than thrilled to be offered a scholarship from MSU Denver. I fell in love with just the city of uh, Denver. I grew up here, um, had season tickets for the Broncos. My family's here. I could have my um, uncles, my dad, my brothers, everybody come and watch me play, you know, and I always kind of told my dad when we'd go to the Pepsi Center, like, oh, Metro looks pretty sweet. That'd be pretty cool to play baseball down there, or play in the middle of the city, you know? While Garcia had to red shirt and watch his teammates compete in 2014, the wait was worth it, and it showed in his first collegiate start. In fact, he took a no-hitter into the seventh inning. You know, I was nervous. I was completely nervous because I had sit out, like you said, I had sat out that, that year, um, and I had practiced. I'd obviously gone scrimmaging, and I think I had a fall between that time as well. But it was just first start in college. Like I said, I was kind of nervous in the bullpen, um, as, as I can remember. And then I, when I, I'm always like have those butterflies in my uh, my stomach, no matter what start it is. And I think I always tell anybody is I just want to throw pitch one. And I think after pitch one, everything just calms down, and you're in your group. His sophomore season took off from there. He struck out nine and six scoreless innings against Sioux Falls. He gave up just one hit in a complete game shutout of Colorado Christian, and he struck out a season-high 10 Rangers in a road battle with Regis University. His 74 strikeouts and 67 innings carried his team to the RMAC tournament in Grand Junction. The Roadrunners took the first two games and found themselves in the championship match. They took on second-ranked and national power Colorado Mesa 
and Garcia was masterful going seven innings, allowing just one earned run and striking out five. But the Mavericks rallied to take this game and the next one to win the tournament championship. Yeah, yeah. So I think I had pitched six or seven innings that game. Uh, God, that we were so close. We were. That was the best season. I think I still call that the best season of my baseball career because that team that we had was just unforgettable and just unbelievable. Because no matter if we were down, up, we just rallied, and we'd always have maybe the sticks would come around, pitching would come around, get key outs when we needed it. The following season was Garcia's junior year, and the hurler was even better. Despite the numerous scouts in the stands looking at his every pitch, Garcia put up ridiculous numbers. A 2.90 ERA, a 2.44 opponent's batting average, and he fanned 95 batters in just 83 innings. Going back to that season, when scouts kind of talked to me, uh, it was just more sitting down with my dad and talking, and then as well as just going out with and doing better with performances and kind of trying to make myself more valuable to these scouts. After pitching two years in downtown Denver, Garcia earned the respect of Major League Baseball and was expected to go in the 2016 draft. But coming from a Division II school, he just didn't know where. There's always this thing with the draft where you could be talked to by these scouts, but at the same time, come draft day, you could never hear anything. Because I, I had talked to the Phillies, Tigers, Astros, and they were – contact me I've had questionnaires I had to send injury reports this that the other but it was just silent until the draft day and the big moment finally came Phillies select Julian Garcia a right-handed pitcher from Metro State College in Denver Colorado it was an awesome experience and I just didn't even know what to what to think at that point in time like it's been a dream to hear my name get called and especially that high in a and around, it's just, it's an honor. Garcia's stuff in the mound only improved in the minor leagues, and he was pitching for the Phillies double-A team in Reading, Pennsylvania as of 2019. He was slated for a bigger role in 2020 before COVID-19 came and shut down the minors. That's the tough part about it. Yeah, you know, um, it's just been crazy because the camp, I went into early camp. Um, I did well. I had a really good uh, month there. I was there for a month before camp actually started. Uh, was getting my innings in, getting my uh, pitches up, and I was almost to throwing 40 pitches, 50 pitches, getting into game action. And so what just really sucks is because this is a year where, yes, I ended in AA last year. This is a year where I can open up some more eyes and even make a chance or get a chance to go up and participate and help out this team. Garcia will be back with the Phillies organization in 2021, hoping to reach AAA where he'll be one step away from the majors. But to this day, he's thankful for what the opportunity brought him at MSU Denver. The fact that I was offered a scholarship and then the, uh, baseball on top of it was just unbelievable. Because education is first a big thing with me and I still need to go back and get my degree. But that was always something that I wanted to be a sports management major and then uh, work in sports later on, no matter what happened with baseball. And so um, just being able to kind of go into college and have that atmosphere and be able to get my degree and have the chance to get my degree is just huge and meant a lot to me.